Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Monday morning forecast update. Interesting weather week shaping up for us here in the Arkletex today. We likely will see thunderstorms each day throughout the week, and as it stacks up right now, severe weather is looking unlikely for us with this time of the year, especially with the warm temperatures. I never quite trust that, so occasionally we could see a storm or two that's capable of maybe some high wind as well as some frequent lightning but uh, this will do wonders for our high temperatures, which will stay well below average, basically in the mid to upper 80s each day. And the average high this time of the year is about 93 to 95. So we will get a break from the heat for at least the next seven days or so. Today's chance for rain will start to increase by the late morning, early afternoon. And there's a, a pretty decent chance that everybody will see some scattered storms in the upcoming days here. If you're one of the areas that somehow gets missed by the storms today, you'll get your chance in the upcoming days. And it's just due to the scattered nature of this that we don't have a uh, impressively high I would say flood threat throughout the week a lot of areas will pick up about one to three inches of rain but it's just going to be kind of a quick round of showers and storms each day not likely to be a complete washout but the uh, culprit here this area of low pressure is going to stay uh, just parked to our northwest so you get that warm air Go riding over the front that's located uh, just to the west of us, and that's what's going to stir up some of these thunderstorms each day. Temperatures in the 70s this morning. Highs uh, forecast to be in the mid to upper 80s, not only this afternoon, but we can kind of apply that as we continue through the week here. And what's happening with the weather pattern, we have a large ridge of high pressure out in the west, and there's a trough of low pressure here over the Great Lakes, and uh, neither one of those is moving, so we're just in a traffic jam pattern here. So these uh, little disturbances will continue to roll in from the northwest each day and this is usually a pattern that does result in quite high rain chances for us and cooler than average temperatures especially in the month of July. So we'll take a look here at your Robbins Toyota Futurecast which uh, isn't depicting much rain until the late morning. We are going to see uh, quite a few showers and storms before lunchtime today so Futurecast I'm showing you this one gets the better idea that we'll see uh, more of those scattered storms this afternoon but I actually think the rain will pick up maybe earlier than what Futurecast is depicting here and you can see those storms continuing well into the evening these are actually your seven day rainfall totals which i do feel like are probably underdone given how much rain we have in the forecast this week this is the map uh, issued by the weather prediction center there's still a good one to three inches of rain but i would say two to four uh, is probably the more likely scenario for us so uh, flood threat relatively low but again if you get a couple days of storms moving over the same areas it can saturate the ground pretty quickly and we can't rule out maybe just some localized roadway flooding throughout the week but as of now uh, no flood watch from the weather service and uh, i don't think they have any plans for one but we'll obviously uh, keep that up to date for you as we continue through the week here high chance of rain basically through the end of the week here we will cool off a few more degrees by the middle of the week and then once we get late in the weekend we may begin to see the rain taper somewhat pushing those temperatures uh, back to 90 maybe by late in the upcoming weekend